Gemini, welcome to your moving on reading. Moving on is exactly what it sounds like. It's a reading focused on moving on or moving forward. Inevitably, we as human beings get stuck. We feel stuck, like there's nothing we can do. Our thoughts shut down, our feelings shut down. We're confused. We got one foot in, one foot out, that kind of thing. We know we're not supposed to be there. We know we're supposed to do something, but we don't know how, or we're convinced we don't know how. So again, we go back to shutting it down or putting it off, procrastinating, that kind of thing. So moving on is kind of a challenge in that respect and that it can be very confrontational looking at the self. That being said, it is strictly non-reversal. Know them, know they. We will all have in our lives extenuating circumstances that make us feel trapped or they're making things worse, not better, which is all the more reason we need to take a look at ourselves and specifically hold ourselves accountable for what it is we are doing and not doing. Thinking, not thinking. Feeling, not feeling. And we take other people and situations out of the equation and we just look at ourselves. We have a much better idea of what it is we're supposed to do. So it's not about going like this. Because I know I'm going to get that in the comments regardless of what I just said. There's going to be somebody who watches this and gets angrier and angrier. And in the comments, like, if it weren't for them or for that, they wouldn't have broke my heart. I wouldn't be here to... That's going like this. When we need to be going like that. Real tarot is like this. You. Me. What are we doing here, man? That's real tarot. Real tarot also shows them and they, but it's not really about them and they, is it? It's about us. How are we growing or not growing? How are we seeing or not seeing? Are we developing or not? You know? And that kind of tells us who we are as people. So if it's not your cup of tea, okay, if this isn't your thing, that's cool. It's not a challenge. Don't take it as one. Pass it up. I don't want you to be unnecessarily angry or frustrated. Okay? That's it. That's true for any tarot read, you know? Don't be, if I'm not offended. Just don't watch it. You won't take anything of it other than to be pissed off with me. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm comfortable talking about this stuff that doesn't necessarily mean everybody is or that they're ready to hear it. That's it. And if you do hang out and watch, I hope it helps you. That's it. Take it resonates, leave it as not. Because it says Gemini in the title doesn't mean it's for you. Or maybe it is. Not directly. Maybe it helps you help someone else. Everything's related. Everything serves a purpose, no matter how small or mundane. Things have a way of getting to where they need to be, you know? All right, what's going on? What's kicking around, please, for Gemini? Show me Gemini, please, and they're moving on or moving forward energy. Show me Gemini, please. A hierophant. Mm. You have a very strong spiritual sense attached to you. You might have some very strong Taurus in your chart. Nine of Wands. <laughs> some of you are trying to be super chill, super zen about something that, frankly, you're, you're the opposite of. It actually pisses you off, but you're trying to be like, no, it doesn't. I'm zen. Let's see. I'm not trying to give you shit. I just think it's interesting. Feelings to confront. You're actually not happy. You are extremely frustrated and pissed. Nine and ten are not that far apart. So I understand and respect that all is chill, man. All is chill and thus will be chill. I get that. <laughs> I respect it. And if you're in that phase of, you know, you're trying to fake it till you make it, I got it. But there's a lot of frustration in you that you're like, no, it's not. I said I'm chill, Christina. Therefore, I'm chill. Take my word for it. I'm having a hard time right now. Because even though, just in the first couple of cards, you're like, on the inside, you're like, you know, I'd flip off the camera, but, you know, somebody somewhere will be upset and flag me or some crap. Oh, yeah. Hidden energies. The moon. Yeah, you got stuff knocking around. And <laughs> you got some stuff knocking around. Your hidden energies is literally hidden. It's so hidden. I don't, honey, you are up. Set and frustrated. We'll get there. We'll get there. Strengths. Eight of Cups. Bless you. You're trying so hard not to get emotionally involved in it. You know, you have that thing about I'm not involved, therefore I'm not. I won't get emotionally attached to this, therefore I won't. You have really strong skills in that, but this had the opposite effect. You are actually very much emotionally invested in something and it's negative. And you're like, it's negative, therefore I don't want it. And again, I understand. But it's not that easy. The best way to get rid of the negative energies is to stop acting like you don't have them and embrace them. 
their real and valid as anything else is love or happiness or joy, so too must you own the negative feelings. Now, I understand if you're trying to overcome the negativity, but I don't think you understand how far it goes. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, the, the sun. Lessons that must be learned in order for you to move on. Something to do with happiness in your outcome. Ten of Pentacles, that's beautiful. Stability. Foundations are in place. Okay, lovely. Okay, okay, okay. You got some, you got some tension in you, a lot, but you're like, no, I don't. I've taken a yoga class, Christina. And then you have those moments when you're in the car, <laughs> you're in the shower, you're out doing a run, or you're doing a jog, or you're at the grocery store, and you just have that minute where you snap really hard, right? Mm -hmm. That's unresolved issue, honey. Unresolved anger. You trying? I, I know. I know you're like. I, I resolve that stuff. Why am I looking at it then? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the concept all is in. But you remember that song was it? Oh, Lord, there I go again. Bush? Was it Bush? Everything's in. And the idea is it's like there was a time in the 90s where people or thereabouts would say it all the time. I'm Zen, man. It was a phrase. And I got sick of it personally because I know it's bullshit. It's like saying it's all good or good vibes or everything's chill. Same thing. And it's like everything's in, man. And it's like, no, it's not, actually. Stop lying to yourself. Sometimes things are hard and we got to stop acting like everything's okay when it's not. And I just, I feel like there's a huge pressure in you to present that everything's cool when it's not. Let's see what that hair is. Show me that hair please. Show me that hair What was that album? 17 Stone or something like that? I'm lucky I remembered I got that. Honey, it's a surprise I got that far, honestly. <laughs> Temperance. Page of Pentacles. Look at Page of Wands. You're like, I am trying so hard to heal myself and show myself patience. But they're on pages. They're on pages. So that means you started the process. It's it's almost like I it's almost like you're telling me I won't be angry from this point forward because I said so. Like I said, Christina, I just signed up for a yoga class. I'm fine. <laughs> a little more to it than that, huh? A little more to it. I feel like many of you might have just started practices in meditation or the art of suspension. Um, get some, Something like that. You know, perhaps anger management. Something like that. I don't know. Going back to some sort of spiritual and or religious practices to kind of cool it down. Because there's something here to trying to leave it behind in terms of frustration and anger like it was never part of you. And it's like, I just devoted this brand new energy to myself. I'm going to be compassionate. I'm going to be understanding. And I'm going to be loving. And I'm going to be all these things. I'm going to be calm. Nothing's going to upset me. <laughs> I'm pissed off. No, I'm not. Kind of like that. <laughs> now, I respect this. I do. And if you have those kind of frustrations and angers in you that's long, it's hanging out way too long, it feels residual, it won't go away no matter how much you try to clean it up, you know, and you're like, I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to take more spiritual practices towards myself with the Hierophant and temperance and patience and time and healing and counseling and whatever. Meditation, all that good stuff. I'm going to incorporate all that. And it, it might be brand new to you. Or it could be a, just a new dedicated effort to be calmer, to be quieter, to not be so frustrated or feeling so chaotic. Um, and it, it, I can't... <laughs> But it's like you're trying to fight something that you don't know that you're fighting. You know? So I respect your spiritual tools, honey, but it's like you don't know where to point them. And I, I don't know how much you are aware of your anger and frustration. You've got to know what you're working with in order to defeat it. And a lot of people are like, I'm in pain, but I'm just going to tell myself to get over it. And that should work. Hmm. Same is true as anger frustration. You have to know what's upsetting you this much in order to actually deal with it. And if you are afraid of temper flares or, 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 or outbursts, or okay, those are perfectly reasonable, rational fears, but you also have to know that that's part of it in order to address it. So let's see that nine, hold on, hold on. Let's see that nine of wands, please. Let's see that nine of wands, nine and 10, oh honey. Let's see that nine of wands. It's like you, you have general, day-to-day -day angers and frustrations that just shape you and shape you 
And then I'm guessing you have that moment where you snap and you don't mean to, and then it just goes back to this, I need to calm the hell down. I need to do my breathing exercises. <clears throat> Christina's always talking about exercising. I should go exercise. Something like that. Six of Cups, Judgment. A little bit of a sensitive subject. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. This is kind of recently decided, I feel like, in your energy. It, it feels like a fresh affirmation for something that doesn't quite fit you yet. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. The frustration is longstanding. Okay. But you have a recent or fairly new agreement with yourself to do better. I understand that. I respect that. It looks really fresh to me because you're having a hard time applying the principles or practices. They're like, I'm not going to allow this to piss me off. I'm not going to do it. And I can kind of see where it's coming from. We have unresolved issues with a special somebody. Now, who that special somebody is, I don't know. This is Six of Cups. Could be a, soul a soulmate, somebody part of your soul tribe, soul bond, that type of thing. But it's unique. It's precious. It has many time, many time. Many memories is what I meant to say, and a lot of time built into it. So it's special, and it's unique, and it's just between you and that person. That's the way they're supposed to be. Um, they're meant to have an impact on you, and you, they. That's why they're not like anyone you will meet, is because they're meant to have that special impact just on you, or for you, or around you. Something like that. Uh, sometimes they're in our life long term. Sometimes they're not. It just kind of depends. Anyway, Six of Cups, Judgment, Four of Swords. You are resisting. So I see what you're doing here. It's clever. I get it. You're not the first person to do this. You are the first person to show me this so bluntly, though. <laughs> At least it's honest, so I respect that. Um, you're like, I can't make peace with this person, and I'm not, I'm not gonna. So I'll make peace with myself, and that should, that should kill the anger and the tension. I kind of get that, because... You know, it's something I say that everything has to begin with the self. Um, I get it. I feel like you are trying to apply that peace and compassion and healing for yourself first. Uh, but it's it, it sparked from a particular frustration that you have with someone else. And it, it's, 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 you know, it doesn't have to be a romantic person. It could be someone you've known all your life, such as a family member or friend. And... Uh, the thing is, the Four Swords Judgment, There, there's a resistance here to heal with this person. So it's kind of like you either feel that you can't or that you're blocked from healing with this person. So you, you have all this excess frustration surrounding this particular connection. So you're like, what do you want to do? You don't want to be angry for the rest of your life, right? So you're trying to show these elements of healing towards yourself. And again, I agree. Everything begins with the self. And this looks like a fresh dedication, like it's fresh off the presses. It's not very old, and you're still having a hard time applying it. And it's kind of like, if it weren't for this person, I wouldn't have to do I wouldn't have to be struggling to heal so much. I wouldn't even have to have this, this goal, because it feels like a goal. <sighs> Here's the thing. Judgment's attached to it. Everything begins with the self. Show yourself more peace, compassion, healing first. You won't get any dispute from me. I 100% agree. They are saying, however, it would be within your particular wheelhouse or lesson bracket, if you will, that in time they suggest you try healing with this person. And uh, part of you is in already frustrated with that because it's like, uh, I'm supposed to heal my first self. Yes, but you're going to only go so far in it if you feel that you have residual frustrations with someone else. And if it gets to that point where you can only do so much healing on your own, okay, I'm not talking about closure. I'm talking about real compassion, forgiveness, and healing with someone else who is important to you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be seeing them. That will be your decision. And they said it would help you. Perhaps not right now, but in time, if you ever feel better about it or that you can approach, that they would suggest that you take that under consideration. It is your decision. It's a lesson in healing with somebody else, okay? And that would actually help advance what you're doing for yourself already. Um, and part of it is like, uh, yeah, but there's a blockage here. Well, some of that blockage is going to be self-imposed. It kind of depends, okay? It does require someone's decision to override it. Uh, that means more of an active stance on the subject as opposed to a passive one. 
But yes, I'm happy to see that you are making dedication to show yourself more time, patience, and compassion and healing. That's always a good thing. It's beautiful. But it has been suggested that to further advance this, you might be able to make peace with this person. And that would help move it even further along in terms of healing. And it would help them too. But again, I'm not doing it them or they. I'm looking at you today. Uh, but it's open to suggestion. It's, I guess you could say it's not mandatory, but it could be a powerful lesson to you in terms of um, finding healing with this person will help accelerate your own. I don't see that pointed out too much. Typically it's, you know, I just see people often wanting to connect in the efforts to heal with someone else. They very rarely do it. But it's typically a want that comes from the self, okay? And it's plausible in the 3D world, but most people are like, I'm too, I have too much pride or... You know, I think they should come to me. For some of you, it is a very special someone. I think that they should come to me, and then uh, pride gets in the way, ego gets in the way, and instead of doing what they feel inclined to, they shut it down. This is a spiritual inference that suggests, it is a suggestion from spirit, in terms of a lesson about full healing. It is possible for you to. However, if you don't see it as possible, you may not choose it. But it is indeed a choice. It is up for you to decide. Okay? And that would help ease the, the frustration in you considerably. I don't know how peaceful it looked like. I don't know if there'll be white flags. I don't know if there'll be kissing and making up. I just know that it's within your wheelhouse to try and further advance your own efforts in healing. Okay. It's different. I'll tell you that. Like I said, I see people all the time wanting to reconnect. Like wanting to in the interest of healing. And then they'll be like, nah. I didn't really mean it. I just, I thought it'd be nice, but I don't really mean it. Yours would actually help you. So if it helps you, just know that you've been given the A-OK -okay from the universe to try. And that it might really benefit you if you do. Uh, but they say it's your decision. Even if you feel blocked, they also kind of saying, yeah, but you also know you could overcome it if you wanted to. So again, it's a choice with that special person and that would help ease the tension but again it's a choice uh right now i see you trying to move on in terms of healing yourself first which i don't disagree with it's just like it is an option on the table though to heal with them let's see that ten of wands please your feelings that you need to confront <clears throat> yeah the options on the table honey even if it seems like it's not it is i'm not gonna lie that's a pretty strong nudge from the universe but they're also saying it's 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 your call and that's that everybody hates that everybody just wishes something would fall in their lap and not actually have to reach out and do it themselves and it depends on how much you want to heal honey you know with yourself yeah you can absolutely heal yourself do you want to heal this connection with that person it's possible yeah in fact it's to be honest with you it's even a little encouraged yeah a little a lot i don't know why Universe would know best. Perhaps your soul second. Let's see that Ten of Wands, please. The Magician, the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. Ooh, there's that resistance. Yeah, you're, you're very upset. I see it. The Nine of Wands is here twice. So not only are you telling me, well, there's no good point, Christina, because they blocked me anyway, so F this, F that. They're still saying, you know you could approach this if you wanted to. It's, it's kind of like, I know you're going like this, but it's like I said in the opening, they're telling you to go like this. I bet this one's going to go over really well. <laughs> yeah, nobody really likes this level of responsibility. I'm not saying whatever here, the discord is your fault. No, of course it takes two. There's already two here. Yeah, that's what the two of cups, I mean, sorry, that's what the six of cups is. Or if it was the two, it'd still take two. Um... But yeah, they're, they're saying there's strong implications towards this. And they know you're upset. They know you're pissed off. They know. They also see and recognize the fact that your efforts to heal yourself have not gone very well. The pages are very small, sincere, but small. And you're having a hard time with it. You're having a hard time reaching your higher self. You're having a hard time staying in commitment to the zone of healing. Okay? They see that. That they also see your efforts to try to heal it. I, I applaud you too. You really are 
you opened up with it right away and you made it clear to me right away. I've been trying to access my higher self, to forgive myself, to show myself compassion and patience and all that stuff. But I'm still pissed off with them. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm cool, man. I'm cool. I'm cool. You know, what would make me feel better about this? To try to work things out with them? Uh, by work things out, again, guys, I don't mean kiss and make up. I'm just saying resolve differences. Let's just call it resolve differences. Fuck that. They pissed me off. So yeah, we, we still got some work to do. And um, our anger is real and valid. And you're showing me a lot of it. You're, you're saying they hurt me. They abandoned me. They broke with me. Um, they caused a lot of strain in my life. I'm not saying kiss and make up, guys. I'm saying that this, for some reason, this connection is prompting a lot of unresolved anger in you as well. And uh, as much as you don't want to hear it, and I get at the gym and I'm looking at you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. You just want to fix it for yourself, by yourself. Um, you could still show it compassion if you wanted to. If anything, just to show yourself more compassion. You could try to forgive it. That way you can get more of that for you. I don't know what this is. It feels like a really strong calling to do what you feel is right, but you keep saying, no, it's not right. They hurt me. They abandoned me. They treated me like shit. I don't know what this is, but you got a lot of anger towards it. I'm not saying it's not justified. Of course it's justified. Why are you so pissed off? And bless you, you're struggling to heal yourself by yourself, for yourself. This tells me this is someone who's not really a lover. It could be, but well, it was you were under the deck. <laughs> it could just be you though. This could be a family member. Or someone who we said we would never forgive. Uh, I'm just I'm just trying to do me. Let's get to your hidden energies. I'm trying to understand where all that anger and frustration and I'm not going to forgive them or whatever is coming from. I'm, I'm really trying to understand because I don't want to minimize your efforts. I see your efforts here. But I also want them... I, I need to better understand why they keep pointing you back to this person to resolve your differences. I very rarely see something this direct unless you have so much outstanding anger and frustration with this person that it's at the point where it's hurting you to not do anything about it. That's the only thing I can think of is by you ignoring it, pushing it off, it's just causing you more harm than to try, say, resolve it with them. And uh, it, it doesn't feel spousal to me at all. Spousal, girlfriend, boyfriend, it doesn't feel like that. Um, you know, I mean, it could do for some of you, absolutely, 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 could be, absolutely. Um, but there's something here about you finding forgiveness for yourself and compassion for yourself and loving yourself and the things you said or did that may not have been so nice, you know, and the things that they said and did that may not have been so nice and somewhere you two acknowledging that between the two of you, you complimented and then also pushed away in this connection in some way. And um, it's going to require a lot of higher calling energy from you. You know what I'm saying? You're mad. I understand that you're mad. But that's the feelings they want you to confront. And they are saying it's associated with that person and just that person. Um, Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. You know, it's under your moon, honey, under the hidden energies. No matter how small you tried to make that guy, in terms of observation. We would like to actually correct this in reality. I don't care how small he is. 
He's been observing that space for a while. Three and six of pentacles, constructive effort, bare minimum, constructive effort to balance. Again, it does not feel love oriented. Uh, I said that soul bond could be anybody. And it's not even a soul bond. Maybe for some of you it's just the representation of that childhood friend, sibling, or someone whom you've known for a very long time. Where you say that there is betrayal and they abandoned me or hurt me. But they're also saying it kind of run both ways. You blocked them, they blocked you. You said some angry shit, they said some angry shit. Uh, and I can see that you have trying to really do a job here of healing and understanding. And they're saying it's, fit, it's felt limited for a reason and it's felt unresolved for a reason. There's other steps that perhaps you could take to really deepen the process. Okay. So yeah, it's been kicking around in your hidden energies for a while to constructively, quote unquote, do something about it in the real world, but we tried not to give it much insight, like it's not possible. Like, he's just observational. He can't handle this kind of stuff, guys. Page of Swords. He's the most immature and the most <laughs> incapable of all the pages. At least the other pages, they have some sort of responsibility attached to them. The Page of Swords doesn't do shit other than observe. So that's why he's associated with spying. He's too immature to say or do anything. And he knows it, so he keeps his mouth shut. What is he going to do? He's just, all he can do is watch. So somewhere deep in there, under your moon energies, and in the smallest possible form of... I'm not trying to recognize this, but it's kind of there. Maybe I could work shit out with them. Again, I'm going to say this for people who are really... I mean, it can be. It just doesn't feel like love, lovey stuff. We're talking family shit. I feel like it's that. Could be childhood friend. But there's this idea of... Man, I know a big part of you wants to relinquish this, to break from the anger, to break for the frustration, so I know you've made attempts and I know you've only gotten so far. And this is why I think one of the few times I'm saying the universe actually say, maybe try roping them in, the same person who upset you. It usually works both ways. You have grievances, so do they. Let's see the Eight of Cups, please, in strengths. I'm not assigning blame, guys. That's, I'm not assigning blame. I strongly recommend to get an idea of what the heck I'm talking about in terms of um, opening up, in terms of healing and forgiveness so that it can come back to you. That's what we're talking about is good karma, not just bad karma. People really get obsessed with karma and the badness of it. Nobody really understands the good of karma either. What you give may be given back to you. And people hear that as a threat if they've done really shitty things. You don't hear it as a threat when you've done good things. So if you really want a good example, I highly, if, if I can remember it, I will pin it in the comments just for you. This fantastic interview, I highly recommend this person's YouTube channel. I'm sure you've heard of it. Soft White Underbelly. It is absolutely brilliant. That man is brilliant. I love his work. I've seen most of his interviews, not all of them, but quite a bit. I highly recommend the one called Ex-Gang Member Johnny. It's probably one of the best unintended interviews I've ever heard in my life about the forgiveness that's the hardest to forgive with somebody who didn't deserve it, but it's not about what the other person deserved, it's what he deserved as an individual. That's what it feels like I'm looking at today. So if you want to check that out, again, it's ex-gang member Johnny, um, soft white underbelly. And that's where we get that overwhelming levels of frustration. I'm trying to do right by me, but I'm anger. I've got a lot of unresolved anger. I low-key secretly want to work things out, but I can't admit that to myself because I've got a lot of unresolved anger for this situation and our person. It would require forgiveness on both sides. Fuck that. They hurt me, so I'm not going to ask their forgiveness. And it's not really about that. It's about us. Bless you, honey. I've seen that you've tried to do a job for yourself, but it's limited, isn't it? It's limited. That's why they're nudging you to work things out with this person. Um, and it, it, it feels like uh, there is the opportunity here. It feels like there's an opportunity here for it to work both ways. Okay. Eight of Cups. 
is eight of cups jesus six of swords nine of swords you I, I know you're someone who's like it's done it's done i'm out right is you've always considered that a strength not when it comes to this this one's not working whatever it is that you normally do that allows you to dissociate from people i no longer have feelings for this i'm not emotionally invested in it i'm out that superpower that you might i personally don't have that <laughs> i wish i did that's a hell of a thing it's a hell of a thing honey eight of cups twice for you i'm not in this i'm not emotionally invested in this i'm out you can't affect me you can't affect me you can't mess with me i'm good you can't <laughs> you want to affect me i'll leave that's amazing it, but also isn't because whatever it is when i typically see people's formulas and their formulas aren't working that means we have to be willing to change if we want to get over it because whatever it is you typically do that allows you to detach like freakishly detach i'm not calling you a freak but i mean freakishly easily detach like that and move on typically that works for you if it's too stressful if it's a pain in my ass, if it causes me conflict, I'm out. You've always, the gym that I'm looking at, that is 100% your strength. And I think it's enviable, but to a degree. I don't know what that's like. I emotionally attach very strongly. I'm very cautious for that reason. But when I do, it's very deep. And it's very hard for me to just pull up anchor and leave. But when I do, it's because I'm ready. And you're saying you won't even get that far. If it looks, <laughs> if it even gets close to stressing you out, you're gone. You disengage from it. <laughs> Done. But this one, you keep coming back to it like a sore wound because it won't close. So your typical formula for your strength isn't working for this. It's not supposed to. This one is meant to frustrate you for a reason. It's when I get these levels of complex connections, it's because it's meant to challenge us not keep us where we are and this one is most definitely challenge, challenging you because it wants you to rise not fail so many of you who are like making peace with this situation is proof of failure wrong this would be proof of your ability to stay put and address it instead of walking away from it because we want to be able to walk away from situation people places things objects whatever that have no bearings in our life so don't fucking invest in it i completely agree with you I know too many people who get emotionally invested over the stupidest shit. Like, I know what they're not, dang it. I know, yours is fascinating. That's why I'm going extra, because it's really fascinating. It's good, but not the one I'm looking at, but to me, it's fascinating. Anyway, you ever see people just emotionally give themselves away over the stupidest shit? Like, <laughs> I know, I know. I'm gonna go ahead and evoke the S word, Starbucks. So they're on every corner, and sometimes you just want a quick call. So I go over there, and then there's somebody losing their absolute shit because they don't have the whatever. And they always have the whatever, but you don't have the whatever today. And I'm going to take it as a personal reaction. You see what I'm saying? That's somebody who gets emotionally invested over the stupidest shit instead of just being like, oh, well, I'll get this other thing instead. See what I'm saying? <laughs> So I agree with you. You don't want to get emotionally caught up in the stupidest shit. You need to know when to walk away. And many of you have prided yourself on that. If it causes me conflict, I'm out. That's amazing. That's brilliant. I wish I saw that with more people. But whatever that formula is, is not working for this because it's not supposed to. It's asking you to address this. It's asking you to level up and address it, if anything, for your own fucking sanity. Your own sense of well-being, honey. And I'm, let's let's call a spade a spade. And your hidden energies, which is literally the moon, low-key, you've secretly known it's been knocking around in there for a while. And that kind of pisses you off, too. Because you keep saying, no, it won't, no, it won't, no, it won't, no, it won't, no, it won't. I'm just going to abandon the anger. That's what I'm going to do. It hasn't worked, honey. It hasn't worked. Bless you. You've tried. It hasn't worked. And I've seen that you tried to heal yourself the right way that hasn't it's worked to a degree, but not enough to push you over. There's something about that connection that you need to go back and readdress it, and it looks like in real life. Okay. Um, and if, yeah. and if that person, I was about to say, if that person has crossed over, if they've passed on, I don't know why I was going to say that. I don't know why I was on the tip of my fucking tongue to say in case they passed over. And you have, is that what that is? Is that what residual anger is? Somebody exited and you didn't have a chance to say what's what about something? Now you yell in your house. Talk to them like you're talking to them in your mind's eye. It works just as well. I promise. Oh yeah. 
It's what you need to do for you. For some of you, that's the case. And if that person passed over and you didn't, you weren't able to take care of business, whatever that is with them, I am sympathetic. And nothing makes you feel so helpless as that. I promise you, they're still connected. And I promise you, they can still hear you. What are you going to do? Say what you need to say. Find some time. Talk to them in your house. The Hierophant, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Swords. Okay. Lessons that must be learned before you can move on. You know? You need to commit to love of yourself. I see that Knight of Cups going towards you. Your own emotion. You have to commit to your love of yourself. And your happiness. Lessons to be learned. You know? You have to know that you're worth it. You already pulled a hair font on your opening. You might have some very strong Taurus in your chart. We also have Sag, etc., Pisces. Um, you have to commit to your own feeling towards yourself to know that you're worth it and that your happiness is on the line here. You know, you don't want to carry this with you everywhere you go. That's, that's the thing about people like, I'm going to start over and live a life in the cabin in the woods. Yeah, uh-huh. That'll work for like a week until you realize you are still you carrying around your same shit you know commit to love of yourself first and that should clear up the confusion and know it makes you happy love yourself don't don't just badger yourself to being calm and patient and quiet and forgiving the hierophant needs to commit to love as much as anything else so commit to love of the self too okay to move on to be happy you have to know that you love yourself not just give yourself patience and compassion. That's all good, man. That's all good. But you need to love yourself, too. And say, I love myself enough to do this. Yes, I agree. Okay. Let's see that Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Show me that Ten of Pentacles, please. And, you know, and then we get that moon in the reverse. Good point. That's an excellent point, Spirit. Thank you. Show me that Ten of Pentacles, please. Show me that Ten of Pentacles, please. Devil. Moon. See that Seven of Pentacles? That moon background is building up in you and building up in you and building up in you. As far as I can tell, your 3D world is stable, but inside there's a slow growth and it doesn't feel good. It feels like a devil that's just getting bigger and bigger and out of control. So I don't want it to be so big that it's going to take over your 3D energy. Nobody wants that, especially if you have a foundation in place, guys. I don't want this to interrupt your stability because you have a lot of buildup of leftover stuff with somebody else. So when I tell you it's rare, I typically tell people you need to do your work first before you do anything else. And that's why I see all these connections, all these things all the time. I would love to connect with them, but I'm not going to admit it to myself. That's because you haven't done your inner work. You've done the thing where I'm trying to do my inner work, but I'm struggling with it. And that's when they're saying you need to address this connection to enhance it. And it's going to be one of your biggest challenges. I'm not saying look to closure from them. Don't do that. Don't get trapped in that thinking it's idiotic. You're not looking for closure. You're looking for resolve within you. So if you approach it from any other perspective, it's not going to go down very well. This is meant to be your challenge. This is not one you could just move on from, otherwise you would have done it already. And low key, you've been thinking about addressing it for a while, even if it all is all the way back there in your subconscious. It angers you and it frustrates you and it's going to continue to do so until you address it. And you have to love yourself and honor yourself enough to know the difference. Otherwise, this will just keep dragging with you and get bigger and out of control. And we don't want that. I don't want this to consume you. And it, it's, it's cooking, man. It's cooking back there in a not good way. Something's burning back there on the stove and you don't know that it is. Devil of the Moon and Seven Pentacles. That is slow growing aggravation, slow growing anger, and slow growing fear. And I don't want that to consume your complete way of life. I don't want your life to become all about that. Neither do you. So while you might be that Gemini that prides themselves and says, I know when to leave, I know when to exit, and I know when to get involved. Oh, before it can stress me out. This thing already did. It has, and it's going to continue to do so no matter how much you ignore it. Don't go looking for closure, looking for peace with yourself when it comes to this person. I don't know if you will approach it. You have to know that you love yourself enough to do it. This is what I had to say. And this is probably the last time I will ever speak to you. But this is what I had to say. That's it. That's not closure. 
That's you saying what you need to say to get it out of you so it doesn't consume you. You ever met somebody? You ever seen those broken shells of human beings? They never said what they needed to say. They never did what they needed to do. You see them. You know who I'm talking about. It doesn't seem like it's that way now. But uh, is that where you want it to go? Because bless you, honey, and your dedication to leave this behind, you just intensify the negativity in you. I don't want that for you. I don't want that for anybody. Oh, honey. Talk about moving on. You didn't just try to move on. You tried to completely pick up anchor, sail to new worlds, <laughs> leave homes, leave territory, all that. But the energy still went with you, didn't it? I know you've tried to move on from this repeatedly, and it angers you that it's not done. No, that's because a part of you way down there wants to fucking address this. And I'll tell you what, for that person whom this resonates with, the Six of Cups, if they indeed have passed on, this is what you're going to do. You're going to feel like a crazy person. That's okay. Because you already got the crazy building up anyway, so you might as well let it out. Case in fucking point. What have we been talking about, guys? This is what it looks like in real life. So here's some real therapeutic advice for you. It will still be cathartic regardless. If you're that person indeed who that person has passed, and there's no way in hell you can have a phone call anymore. Okay? First of all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the toll it has taken on you. This is what you're going to do. You're going to wait till you're in the house by yourself. And when you know it's empty and you got some space to yourself, yell. Scream. Hit a pillow. I don't care. Do what you need to do. Get it out. Say to them what you would have said if they were still with you. Just get it out of you. Because you're the one who's taken the price for this. They're gone. They're... They're gone. And if you say something grossly inappropriate, they're still gone. <laughs> and even then, they're on the other side. So that means by default they would understand. Now, if this person's alive in the real world, you already know what you need to do. Uh, this person, for some of you, I am convinced that not only are they in your real world, you feel obligated to take care of them in some way. And you resent it. I wasn't sure if I was going to say that, but I felt like I should. I have to make decisions like that all the time. Springtime. You might have felt some really strong tension around this in spring. When you're ready for it, though, when you're truly ready for it, then you step up to this plate and you have to remember it's not selfishness. And it's not even anger that's driving this. It's because you love yourself enough to say or do something about it. And then, then, then you get to move on or you get to move forward with or without them. I don't know about you, honey, but I'm protective of my foundation. Ain't nobody going to put that one up. Within a couple of months, for some of you, that's when you'll be more ready for this. So we're talking later fall. Okay. All right. That was quite intense. That was quite a bit to be getting on with. I am sympathetic. But it is something that you need to do. I'm not saying you make peace with them. I'm saying you speak your peace to make peace for yourself. If they come along in a peaceful healing journey with you after that, great. If not, you did what you needed to do. All right, good night. Yours is too long. All right, put in the comments. Take care. Be well.